Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Lyndon. I'm just an ordinary bloke from Stoke, but I've got a few stories to tell. Today we've got the next exciting instalment of a random and somewhat intermittent short series about my passion for supporting local trade. I think I've said somewhere before that uh, I think we've lost our way somewhat in the modern world. It's all about globalisation and long supply chains. I'm a firm believer in supporting the local guy, supporting the local business, maintaining community. It's important. Today we're off to a family run business, Parker's Butchers, located in the small town of The Mere on the southern tip of Stoke on Trent. So while you soak up the scenery, enjoy the ro romantic side of Mere, um, I've got a small confession. Look at the distortion running down slightly left of centre of screen at the moment. If you've seen the video about the minor incident I had where the uh, camera uh, fell off the trike and we, uh, we learned a very valuable lesson about lens protectors on these cameras I've gone and, uh, I've gone and messed up um, I've managed to disrupt the calibration so the stitching of the two videos because these 360 videos are made up of two separate videos shot with two separate lenses um, I've, I've messed it up and of course I didn't realise at the time but there you go, we live and learn. So, welcome to Parker's Butchers. And before I get into it, just a quick comment. I'm 55 years old, no bald spot. How about that then? <laughs> ah boy, I've got my mother's hair. Right, Parker's Butchers, back to the topic in hand. Look at them sausage rolls. Oh, I haven't done my tea yet. It's everything that you'd expect, everything that you'd want in a local butcher pork pies, more sausage rolls, those are fruit tarts I think, um, more pork pies, more sausage rolls, steak bakes, steak and kidney pies, oh look, fresh bread, eggs, far end fresh sandwiches are cut there as well, so it isn't just about the meat, um, it's primarily that obviously, but these are you know short food miles as well. Um, much of this product is, uh, is sourced locally so it's just ticks all of my boxes it does uh, I'm not going to reveal too much of the chat that takes place in here but it's very light-hearted banter uh, you don't really need to listen to the Stokies they're a good bunch generally um, good sense of humor and uh, I engage whenever I go shopping it doesn't matter whether I'm in a local uh, uh, trade or whether I'm in one of the supermarkets we use Aldi and Lidl and Tesco and all the rest of them obviously when we have to but preferences is for the uh, is for the small guy uh, but I chat I'm a terrible chatter um, <laughs> you'll figure that out eventually I'm sure the more we get to know each other there we go that uh, old fella's got his, uh, got his, got his lunch and uh, I hope the wife's happy with his choice. That's all I can say. Um, I have to confess, this isn't really my domain. My better half normally visits the budget. Um, I've been introduced to it over the last ooh, 10 years or so. So I feel quite comfortable coming in here on my own. It's not like walking in a pub on your own, you know. Um, they're very friendly guys, they are. And the quality it brings me back to the same thing. It's the quality that you go for. This isn't any mass-produced, churned out of a factory stuff. This is uh, this is proper, and uh, you can generally taste the difference. I'm sure that's copyright at some supermarket, isn't it? But hey ho, sue me. Um, I'm here for a couple of pounds of minced beef, homemade lasagna. Uh, that was the plan for today. Um, and we'll get there. Anyway, we're in the queue. We're mate, wait, we're mating, but not mating. We're waiting patiently. Um, having a bit of laugh, having a bit of banter, and uh, just soaking up the ambiance and those glorious smells. So, take a moment. We'll get there. It'll be our turn shortly. Be patient. All things come to those who wait. While we're waiting. I don't want the vegans and the veggies to be left out of all of this, you know. I do eat my fair share of salads and vegetables. Um, but I was, uh, I was born with canines. Uh, that's sort of a bit of a bit of a clue, really. I do enjoy uh, a nice bit of steak, bacon. Oh, crispy bacon! 
don't know how you could live without it. Uh, I don't do awful, oddly enough. In the likes of heart, lung, kidney, brain. Um, what's that other white stuff that looks looks like rubber? Um, tripe. Ah, yes, tripe. No, no, no. <laughs> That's not for me. Um, so, no. Um, yeah, good, honest, lean meat. Uh, there you go, the deal's been done. The, uh, the two pounds of minced beef has been uh, weighed out. Price is calculated. Cash handed over. I think he even kept the penny change. Brilliant. That's it. Parkers, I'm just explaining what I'm doing, videoing, and uh, whether they got any objections or not. Um, they didn't. They were really up for it, which I'm glad to say. So hopefully uh, this may inspire one or two locals to call in and say hello and uh, give them your patronage. We need we need these people to stay around. We can't hand everything over to the big corporations. It's well, I mean, you look at the state of the news today with the, the cost of living crisis and the price of fuel and all the rest of it. I don't want to get all political, but we don't appear to be self-sufficient in anything in the UK anymore. And uh, it's time for a change. That's it. We're on our way out. Parker's Butchers, Mia, Snow Contran, uh, your friendly local neighbourhood butcher. Pay me a visit if you can. And um, you'll thank me for it, I promise. Right, one last chance to add my, my, my full set of hair. Full set of hair? Full head of hair. And um, we'll push off. That'll do for this one. Thanks for the company. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'd best get this uh, minced beef back to she who must be obeyed. And uh, get it in the pot for, for tea tonight. Actually, I think it was for dinner tomorrow. I think it was Sunday, uh, if memory serves. It's been a few weeks. Apologies for the uh, for the for the for the dodgy video, um, but lesson has been learned, as I say. I've uh, identified the problem. I've figured it out, and the next one, fingers crossed, shall be a shed load better. If you're interested in how I'm getting the footage, by the way, wearing a rucksack, I've got a selfie stick poking at the back of the rucksack, and uh, the Insta 360 camera attached to that. Hope you enjoyed it. Come back. Hopefully it won't be so long next time. Don't forget the usual YouTube-y stuff. Share, like, subscribe, even comment. That's useful. Apparently Google likes you to comment. But for now we'll call it today. Stay safe. See you next time. Ta-ta.